section of chapter 3 we study the food. In the previous classes we learned about study. Study was a fat skin or fat baby goat and it has a wing. It, like, it likes to wear wings. It also likes to dig and dig and dig. We have also learned Caddy sees a big thing on a tree. So what happens next? Let's turn to page number 25 of your book, Sam the Fat Cat. Here we are having phonic words and sight words. We are going to read it. D, E, D, Did, J, E, G, Jig, P, E, L, L, Fell, Y, E, L, L, Yell, Sight word, G, A, V, E gave. We are going to read the lines and underline the sight words. K A D Y Caddy T H E D F A T F A T K E D K I D W I T H with a w e g wig d e d did a j e g chick caddy the fat kid with a wig did a chick caddy sees a big thing on a twig and Caddy wanted the big thing. So Caddy did a jig. What is jig? Jig is a dance. And how Caddy did a jig? Caddy lifted up his body and the four front legs up towards the twig. You can see in the picture. Caddy did a jig to get the thing. T H E D B E G Big F E G Fig F E L L Fell The Big Fig Fell Next line. K A D Y C A D Y G A V E G A V E O Y A L L Y E L C A D Y G A V E Y E L C A D Y D I D J I G to get the thing and then C A D Y D I D J I G the pig fell. The pig falls down from the twig. And Caddy gave a yell. Yell means Caddy shouted loudly. Come to page number 26. Here we are having phonic words and sight words. We are going to read it. Phonic words. B, E, B, 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 E, T, B, I, T, G, O, T, G, O, T, G, Sight words. T, H, E, N, D, E, N, I, N, T, O, N, T, O, we are going to read the lines and underline the sight words. K A D Y C A D Y T H E D F A T F A T K E 
the kid. W I T H with a wo e g wing g o the got a b e b bib caddy the fat kid with a wig got a bib now caddy got a thing and caddy wanted to have the thing so caddy got a bib why caddy got a bib because caddy is a kid kid means caddy is a baby goat so it brought a bib t h e n then hmm 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 k a d y caddy b e t bit i n t o n t T H E D B E G Big F E G Fig Then Hmm Caddy Bit Into The Big Fig Now Caddy Got a Bib Caddy started eating, started biting the fig and enjoyed the fig. Your homework is to read page number 25, 26 and 27. On page number 27, you are having all the sight words of the chapter. To page number 28 here we are having yes or no and fill in the blanks of the chapter we are going to do yes or no uh, here you are having two columns for yes or no one is for yes and the other is for no if the statement is Correct. We are going to put tick mark in the yes column and if the statement is wrong, we are going to put tick mark in no column. First, caddy is a fat cat. Answer will be no. We are going to put tick mark in no column. Why? Because caddy is a fat kid and it's not a cat. Caddy, second one. Caddy likes to dig. Yes, we have read in the chapter, Caddy likes to dig. So, we are going to put a tick mark in yes column. Third one, Caddy sat on a twig. Your answer will be no. Caddy never sat on a twig. Fourth, Caddy bit the fig. Answer will be yes. Fifth, the fig did a jig. Your answer will be no. Because fig never did a jig. Who did a jig? Caddy did a jig. Now come to fill in the blanks. Here in the bracket, two words or two answers are given. We are going to choose the right answer. First, caddy dash a wig. Caddy has a wig or caddy did a wig. Caddy has a wig. So, here in the blank, in the space, we are going to write has. Caddy has a wig. Second, the dash is on a twig. The fig is on a twig or the big is on a twig. The fig is on a twig. We are going to write fig in the blank. Third, 
Caddy dash the fig. Caddy bit the fig or caddy bib the fig. Your answer will be B I T bit. We are going to write B I T bit. Caddy bit the fig. Fourth, caddy the fat kid with a wig did a dash. Caddy did a game or caddy did a jig. Your answer will be jig. Caddy did a jig. Number fifth, caddy the dash is fat. Caddy the kid, it, kid is fat or caddy the fig is fat. Your answer will be caddy the kid is fat. So these exercises you are going to do in the book itself. In homework, pick out your time to write cursive workbook. And turn over to page number 12. Here you are having capital K and capital L cursive. Before starting your work, you are going to put the date and write homework. For capital K cursive, dots are on second line. So we are going to start from the dot. On the dot, take it to the first line. Bring it to the third line and a turn. Leaving a small space, point the pencil on the first line and take it slant towards the second line. And again a slant towards the third line. On the dot, take it to the first line. Bring it to the third line and a turn. Leaving a small space, point the pencil on the first line and take it slant towards the second line. Again a slant towards the third line. On the dot, take it to the first line. Bring it to the third line and a turn. Point this pencil, leaving a space on the first line and take it slant towards the second line and again a slant towards the third line. On the dot, take it to the first line. Bring it to the third line and a turn. Leaving a space, point the pencil on the first line and take it slant towards the second line. Again a slant towards the third line. On the dot, take it to the first line. Take it, bring it to the third line and a turn. Leaving a small space, point the pencil on the first line and, a, and take it slant towards the second line and again a slant towards the third line. This is how you are going to complete your K. Now come to L. For L, dots are on second line. On the dot, take it to the first line. A slight turn and bring it to the third line. A turn and a curve. On the dot, take it to the first line. A slight turn, bring it to the third line. A turn and a curve. On the dot, take it to the first line. A slight turn and bring it to the third line. A slight turn and a curve on the third line. On the dot, take it to the first line. A slight turn and bring it to the third line. A slight turn and a curve again on the third line. On the dot, take it to the first line. A slight turn and bring it to the third line. Again a turn and a curve on the third line. This way you are going to complete page number 12. Now your cursive strokes turn over to page number 15. Here you are having capital K cursive. And before starting you are going to put the date and write homework. For K, dots are not given. So, we are going to put the dots on second line. Like this. On the dot, take it to the first line. Bring it to the third line. A small space and a slant towards the second line. And from here, again a slant towards the third line. 
this is how you are going to do your K. Now page number 16. Here you are having capital L. And before doing, you are going to write the date and homework. Again, the dots are not given. So we are going to make the dots on second line for L. On the dot, take it to the first line. A slight turn and bring it to the third line. Again, a turn and a curl on the third line. This is how you are going to complete your page number 16. We come to an end of the chapter 3, Meet Cat Jesus Kid. In the coming video, we are going to do from Kitty and Rover and a poem from Busy Bee Write Activity Book. Till then, take care.